Today we're with Tom Gallagher, the CEO of Dairy Management Inc., or DMI, the checkoff organization for dairy. We're at World Dairy Expo, and uh, we're speaking with Tom about a number of the issues that we're all concerned about in the industry. Uh, Tom, let's jump right in and tell us a little bit about uh, what's happening. We're seeing so much publicity for plant-based beverages. Uh, t tell us what the DMI point of view is on that. Sure. Plant-based beverages are very well funded. Uh, by private equity and other uh, components, and uh, they will have a niche, and I believe it's a niche. It's not going to overwhelm the dairy industry. So they're they're a threat, they're a challenge, but a larger challenge to us, Joel, is the lab-grown protein. In the long term, people will grow lab-grown proteins that will become affordable and accessible to the world. And I think that that is our larger challenge, and we need to be ready to face that and assure that the government bodies that regulate food safety are really focused on making sure that those um, lab-grown proteins go through the same rigor that the dairy industry has to go through. You spoke earlier today about a uh, long-term planning process that uh, certainly was news to me. Sounds fascinating. Uh, it's called 2030, and maybe that's uh, ironic in that the lab-grown folks have said 2030 will be our doom day. Uh, but but tell us about the new planning process that you've begun. Yeah, I think the uh, the news that the plant-based people have put together a study that claims dairy and beef will be out of business by the year 2030 is uh, uh, wrong, and uh, I, I don't think we have to be concerned with that kind of scenario. But what we are doing within the dairy industry, Joel, is processors, manufacturers, co-ops, dairy farmers are all working together not to trend out where will consumers be in 2030, how will they consume food, what type of food, but to actually look at future forces and what we anticipate consumption will look like in the year 2030. How will food be delivered? There, there will be an additional two to three billion iPhones on the planet in the next five years. And those people, whether they're in Africa or the United States, will be able to order exactly what they want. And companies like Amazon and others, their goal is to deliver that within an hour. Uh, so we've got to be ready and anticipate what the future consumer is going to look like, how they consume information, how they want their food, and move into that future quickly before it comes upon us. So that's the goal of the study, is to anticipate the future legislatively, regulatory, marketing, plant infrastructure, and otherwise, and be ready for that future. Uh, one of the issues uh, that just came up here at World Dairy Expo, but it's certainly not new, and that's the structure of our dairy industry and uh, uh, the issue of small farms versus large farms can be very emotional and divisive. Uh, we heard Secretary Perdue uh, reportedly made some comments about that yesterday that were, that were certainly controversial. Uh, what's, what's the DMI point of view and what's your particular point of view, Tom, on our industry structure? Sure. Um, you know, as we look in export markets and domestic markets, we believe, as we work in those markets, that the strength of the dairy industry is that we have all size farms, all geography, all weather, organic, conventional, and otherwise. That gives us the diversity that insulates us against the weather factors and other things that I mentioned, and that's our greatest strength. Internally, um, with price being so awful for four and a half years or so now, uh, I think it's heightened the tension from small farmer to large farmer uh, and the focus on increased production. Um, so I think it's up to leaders like myself to really paint a picture for dairy farmers in the dairy industry of not one size farm or one look at how a farm's future is going to be, but to really look at the various niches of small, medium, large farms and paint a picture of what prosperity can look like for each of them within a growth industry. And I think that's the challenge that I hope through the 2030 project, we can paint that picture for small, medium, and large farms environmentally and sales-wise. 
Thank you, and we hope you can too. This has been Joel Hastings speaking with Tom Gallagher, CEO of DMI. This is Joel Hastings for DairyBusiness.com.